Uh, Sean O'Brien, uh, that was it. Um, you don't do things easy, I'd say, I put it that way. Uh, you did a really hard game there against Red Cormac of, of, uh, of Watford. Uh, they came up here as the Watford champions. You had two tough games against Kinmore, you had and and uh, that went right down to the wire. Uh, level after extra time, and then you had to go into you, uh, level after normal time, and to go into extra time. Then, yeah. but uh, I suppose in normal time when they went down, especially when they went down to, to fourteen, it looked like that you that you carry the day in in normal time, but it didn't work out that way. Yeah, I suppose we've been a bit like that all year, just just get the line. Um, I, it's hard to think back now exactly where we might have put a foot wrong but uh, they're, they're tough like you know they, they won their county championship a lot of young lads they were still going well at the end there so um, they was under pressure and they got the scores but um, we just managed a bit like the last day when we put a few scores together in a row um, just got a bit of momentum and uh, drove on from there yeah, uh, scores that had to come by, and you know there was a few frees missed, maybe as well. It might have been scored. I know there was a, it was a hard day for frees with, with the breeze and that. But when you were in at, at full time, like they they had come at you and they had come back into the game and made a draw, but and and they, and they had pushed up with fourteen minutes. So, you know, when you came in, you know you had to face out, out to another twenty minutes, like, and it was going to be difficult. And uh, I I I didn't see you, you know. I thought you were in a bit of trouble, but. Uh, you actually, whatever happened in that in, in that in that few minutes after after normal time, you came out, you were a new team, and you, and you pushed forward and got the scores. Yeah, we just uh, we kind of rewrote set our targets for the extra time, and it was just about doing what we if we stuck to what we were meant to do in the first sixty minutes and just broke it down into the two ten minutes segments. We knew that we'd be hard beat. So you now they had finished strong, but we've serious panel there. I, I must twenty two or three that must have come on our play today, um, and that's a testament to the group that we have. And you'd see that in training if we're here any day. For serious like, pushing and coming and contributing when they come on to the pitch. Yeah, I suppose one ball went in there, Cormac Murray looked for it. He was actually inside the full forward line and he looked, he waved for it, went out to the corner and put it over the bear. Like, and that, mm-hmm. uh, scores like that would give, give, a, give a, great, a team great heart. Like yeah, it. yeah, no, Cormac's serious. He's been playing great stuff all year, Might not filling up the score sheet as much as, but like you said, they're showing for ball, getting at it, winning frees, and he's well able to kick. Like, that's his expertise is kicking scores, but. There's everything else in his game, he's becoming fine tuned. Kind of, he's um, he's a serious prospect there now, and he should be pushing on with Claire next year. He, um, he should be a key man for them. Yeah, you're, you're facing Clan Mill commercials now, but the good news is actually here as well. So, yeah. home advantage, like you know, for yourself and you know, this field inside out and all the rest do. So, that, that'll count for a bit as well. Like, what is yeah, it, it will, I suppose it's great to have the crowd there, but look, we, when we travelled, the, the supporters have come down there, we went down to the Nair, they outnumbered them, and we, when we played them in the last time, we didn't acquit ourselves particularly well, so, um, look, it was hopefully for a good occasion, but really, it's, it's a football team, at the end of the day, we just play football, play our game, like we did in the first half of extra time, Yeah. Um, you know, if you never know, you know, Clamellers, serious outfit, so, yeah. they, they, but it's, it's another home Serious game. Order. It's another home game, and another one we'll be looking forward to anyway. So, uh, along the road, it's great to be still on the road after today because it could have been, you know, such a tight yeah, game yeah, to win. It. To win was a great game to win. Yeah. Just worrying your own performance, Sean. Kickouts, I think, all there too. Found a Milford man, and I mean those two saves at the end, particularly the, you know, that scrabby one where your man kind of played it on. You had yeah. to be alert because you hadn't been called into action prior to that, so you mm. had to stay sharp on a cold day as well. That's it, sure. Look, the lads do all the work and then you just have to be ready on an odd ball like that. And it was just a bad one to, to just get it out, get it away from the goals. And um, I don't just that's the game, just stay alert because a lot of the time I don't have much to do with these lads in front of me. So when I do have an odd ball to, to deal with, you just have to do your part. So, yeah, I suppose just one man a word on, on Conor Cleary in particular because we were saying up in the media box that any time we were looking long and going to Conor, I mean, he, and even the catch there from the last 45, he reacted that he was the man that took it down from the clouds. Oh, yeah, he's an animal. He's like, you'd, I know it's great the way he's probably doing for the Clare hurlers, but it, as a West Clare man, I'd, I'd only love if he was in with the footballers because he would be a great option there. Like, for Clare, um, he has a lot of passing, he can kick scores. He did the last day, take a tackle, and the pressure was on there. He came out with the high balls, you know. Um, He's, he's serious. Thanks. Thanks for your